Hello everybody. Jacob from Widget Me This here. Um, sorry I've been out for a couple days. I've been sick, really sick. Um, I'm still just getting over it. Uh, so if I cough a little bit, sorry. But I wanted to get back on here. Um, I, uh, and thank you guys again for all those donations. And we are going to have the giveaways after I come back this weekend um, from this archery tournament, archery shoot, and get some good pictures and show you guys everything that happened and well hopefully you know it is kids so parents sometimes get weird about it but some our team will let me obviously take pictures but um uh anyway um just been, i've been like on my bed sick i've been to the doctor twice i've had to get shot steroids shot antibiotics mouth steroids mouth antibiotics just everything it's just been rough this has been the first real day where I just feel almost alive. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't disappear. I just got really, really sick. Um, but uh, another thing, um, I, we are going to still try to have these crapsy tournaments. Um, it's been mostly my fault for being sick that I haven't got with Jeff from Mid-Atlantic Craps. Um, it, he's just waiting on me is what it is. Um, and but it's just because I, I couldn't function otherwise I would have got them going too but so we'll just have to do them um, after the weekend here but at which point we'll we'll do all that and get that going and I'm really hoping to make that more of a, a weekly thing um, I got a good idea to do it I think people will be behind it um, especially the people that can't get to a real craps table all the time. I think it'll be a fun thing for them um, in a different sense. So anyways, so let's get to a strategy I got. I got a thousand dollars out here. I know I've been showing a lot of low roller stuff lately, um, but this this really takes a thousand dollars. I've actually been doing this on the on crapsy um, mostly because I can't hardly, I couldn't hardly get up and move around on my table, but I had been working on it before crapsy and it's just a don't strategy so most people are just going to be like oh that's so boring but the idea behind it is pretty simple um thousand dollars i start with fifty dollars on the don't pass um i shoot the dice satisfies if i win i go up half a unit so i get i go up half the profit and by half the profit guys i i, I keep it all at quarters and hundreds i don't I don't get down to ones and all that. I'll show you when we get there. If I lose, I put the same bet out. So each time, so even if I lose after I've went up, I put the same bet out. And what this does is, because the don'ts kind of a 50-50 proposition, um, is at any point in time, if you get a run of two or three winners on the don'ts, you're gonna win, um, you're gonna be in the profit uh, pretty, pretty solidly. So in fact, doing this style so far in my tests I haven't lost yet um, and I've had a couple that went from a thousand to five thousand dollars pretty easily um, so what I'm just I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing and again a lot this ain't gonna be for a lot of people because it's purely don't I know a lot of people don't like that come out losers seven that's fine uh, it was not a 12 guys it was a seven four three seven so you just when you lose, you go back with the same bet you had down, 50 bucks. And the idea of the progression up will allow you to make up them losses pretty quickly. 516, sorry guys, it's I'm still a little bit sick. 325. Trying to get them to hop all the way out so you guys can see them good. They're not work, they're not cooperating. Six, three, nine. Oh, hard for the two-two, the ballerina. And one, two, three. And again, this is the kind of strategy that most people just don't like because it's so boring. But these kind of strategies are actually pretty effective because they're simple and you're just playing you're just manipulating the math of the game a little bit by using a progression. That last one was a three, guys. This one is an eight. And you just have to stick with your guns on it. 
You just have to ride it out because you will have the run of don't winners as well. You'll have a run of don't losers too, but you'll have a run of don't winners that are going to outweigh because of the progression. Most times, at least all the times I've seen so far. Back to back 11s. Dang, this is a nice long roll. It's full of horn numbers though. It's weird. And there are four. That was not an eight, guys. It was a four. Not that it matters. It didn't matter if it was an eight or a four. And seven out. Okay, so got our money back. But that's, but we won. And so now we're going to go up to 75. So every time you win, you go up. No matter which kind of win it is, you're up to 75. And a nine, five, four. Or you go up half press, sorry. Six, four, deuce, six. Whoa, in the wood and then out of the wood for a nine. That was interesting. Hopped all the way up in the rack and then jumped back in the table. That might be the first time I've ever seen that. I like the way it happened where it rolled up and around. It was weird. So we're going to go 75 because that's where we were at. And an eight. And a five, three, two. And it doesn't matter to me which don't I get. It doesn't. I don't really care. There's a six, four, ten. I have added in the option of when you get the four and ten, putting a little bit of odds on it, but it didn't really make any difference. There's a four, three, seven. Seventy-five dollar winner. We're gonna go up to a hundred. So I just want to point something out where we're at. Okay, so one, two, three. 400 so it, it may you may think we're losing but we're not Because the progression stops it. So there's 400 100 on the table and 500 So even though we've lost a few times we've actually we're actually still exactly even because the progression except for we're just at a hundred dollar bet So you could go back down to 50 if you wanted, but it's just part of the way it plays There's a hard 10 And a four three seven. So back to back losers like that on the line, right? Don't winners. Now we're gonna half half sorry. Half press up to 150 there. So now no matter no matter what, even if we lose this, we're only down 50 bucks. And then we would just have to go back with our 150. And then we would be up, you know, or whatever however the case ends up being. So you obviously we just won't want to play this till the end of the world. You know, you're just gonna play it till if you're happy being up 200 bucks, 300 bucks, and then play light side or something, you know? There's a nine and a five. And a seven, four, three. So now that's a $150 winner. So now we would be up, if we took all this down, right now we're going to be up, let me show you. So there's, there's our whole bankroll. We're up $250, that's 25%. All right, let's just go to 200. I, I think we were supposed to go to 225 or something. Let's just go to 200. But so you're right now, you could leave up 25%, 250 bucks, which is what you should do. Right now, the game would be done for me. Um, or I would take that 250 and then I would start playing the way I like to play, you know, like light side stuff and use that for that and have fun with it. Uh, I wouldn't get back into my bankroll though. Uh, but that's what I would do probably because I probably wouldn't leave. I, I would just change up and I would play with that profit and play, play some light sides, you know, but anyways, let's see how far we can take. It. And there we go. That's why, that's why it's a more of a 50, 50 proposition guys. Keep that in mind if you're playing this is when you get your don't run, it's probably it. All right, so what did we do? We got 500. So we had $200 down there. Put $200 down there. Remember, I said we were going to play it out. 
and there's a six. And an eight, six, deuce eight. Oh, smack Ola. All right, knocked us up. Go back with 200. So this is why you gotta take your money and run. Yo, 11, ooh. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. All right, we got it. We're running out of chances here. Needs to turn around. And the tan, that might help. See, at this point right here, if I did what I just did, I would odd this up and I would just roll with it. Like if I had went, I was up 250 and then I let the game beat me like that, I would put the rest of that on odds with, and I would just run against this tan. And be like, whatever happens, happens. And there's an eight, five, three. But we're gonna do it out like the strategy says. And a four, three, one. And an 11, yo, yo, yo. And a nine, five, four. And a five, three, two. Six, five, yo, a lot of 11s. Six, five, wow. There are so many 11s. Crazy dice. Seven out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. $200 win. All right, let's go up to 300 I guess it would be. Try and get these right here. So one, two, three, four, five, fifty. Eight fifty. So we're still just at eight fifty. All right, come on. Eight. Ugh. Not necessarily the ideal one there. Let's see if we can beat it. Nine. Six tray. No, oh, come here. Four do six. Four, two, sixer. Four, three, seven, nice. Don't fighting back. Don't is fighting back. 300, we're gonna press 150. Now we're at a $450 bet with 700 in the rack. We would be back in the profit. If you messed up the first time, you should probably leave now. But we're gonna ride it out. Let's see what happens. Come out winner, yes sir. Woo. That is luck right there. Bang. 450. All right. Let's get them green chips out of there. Let's go to 500. Let's collect that. Okay, so we're at in the rack. Two, four, six. 1100 so we're 100 in the rack 500 on the table there's the hard 10 all right so you guys get an idea of what it can do what it can't do already hard 10 let's put all everything on it odds everything's going on it all the way odds Odds. Four, three, one. Hard eight. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Four, three, one. One, two, three. Six, four deuce. 
Come on, let's go. Let's get this big win. Six, five, one. Six, three, nine. That was scary. And oh, whew. five, one, five, one, six. Yay, four, three, seven. I'm not going to count all this up. Sweet. So 300 there. That's 500. So that's 250. And then 500 on the flat. Stack that up to a thousand. <coughs> Two, four, six, eight, a thousand in black. I think that's like seven fifty in six fifty, something like that in green. Thousand on the board. Let's see what happens. Seven out or seven come out. There goes a thousand bucks. Bang. All right, are we going for it? Let's put it all out there. I've already shown the strategy enough, shown how valuable it could be enough. So let's stack this whole thing up. Let's go. Oh, it's an eight. We got to fight the eight. No. Oh, that's brutal. You guys, if this spot ever happens to you right here like this and you tilt on this, I would not fight this eight. I would leave a quarter on that don't pass and I would I would do something different. Seven. Well, everyone that didn't listen to me would have won. Okay, so 650. 1650. I'm going to trade this out for 600, all these greens. Here's our payment. All right. We're already this to the blue chips are 500. We're already this tilted. Let's keep tilting. Six. All right. <coughs> Let's keep on tilting. But anyways, you guys saw how the strategy works. It's pretty solid. Seven. Wow. PSO. PSO. This guy that would have been playing this way, he would have been the hero. Trade this in for a hundred dollar chip. We're gonna have to be on all blue chips here. Okay, so that's two thousand, three thousand, thirty three hundred. Thirty three hundred. You get three more blue chips. Stack it all up. One, two, three, no way. Wow. All right, what do we got? Six thousand six hundred. Um, I'm going to use my white chips as thousand dollar chips. Six thousand six hundred. Let's trade these all in for white chips. Make them 
six more. All right, stack it all up. I mean, most places you're way past the table max now, so they probably ain't gonna get to do this, but we're doing it anyway. Six, five, yo. Wow, smackola. That's what you get for being greedy. Obviously, most people would have never made it that far. They would have went home way before that. Let's see where we're at. 10, 12, 13, 1300, or wait, 13,000. $200. That's playing the don't. That would have been super aggressive. Obviously, I don't suggest doing that. Um, did get lucky a few times on some come outs. But the strategy part of the video that I showed, it, it worked pretty flawlessly. Um, I just like to do them at the end of them for fun because the plain just straight don't can be very, very limited, boring type of play. But guys, most... Most sessions are actually don't sessions. Most sessions, the don't player would have won more than the light side player most of the time. Just because you're going to have so many short rolls where a point doesn't get hit that the don't player only wins. He doesn't have any losses. So, um, now obviously there's the handful of different, different runs of dice that smash the don't player, right? Two, three come out sevens and then point, point, and then 11, seven, you know, next thing you know, the don't player's out of money. But most of the time, most games are going to go kind of 50-50. Yeah, and with the progression on this don't, you're going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to gain some profits. And as long as you're willing to leave with like a 20% profit, you're going to get it. Or not even leave, just use that money then to play a different way or play something else or whatever it is you're going to use it for. But anyways, guys, thank you for your time. And again, thank you for all the donations to these kids. They really appreciate it. Um, this weekend is that tournament, so I will be in Kentucky Friday and Saturday, um, and hopefully we shoot good. That's the plan. We're, we've been working on it. So, well, they have. I've been sick, but um, that's that's the goal. Thank you guys for your time. This is Jacob from Wager Me This.